Hi, this is Ross with Horizon Web Marketing and it's time for another SEO Checker Review. I'll be right back. So as you probably know, I've been working through um, these free SEO checkers that are online tools that purport to give you an overview of the SEO potential of your website. And in most cases, you go to a website, put in the home page or any page sometimes of your website, and you click a button and they'll give you a report. Those tools are often referred to as SEO checkers, SEO checkup tools, free SEO analyzers. There's a whole bunch of them out there. And if you look down below in our list, in the playlist that we have on this YouTube channel, you'll be able to see that I've done quite a few reviews so far. Now, usually what you do is you go to a website and you plug in the address for your website and click a button and it'll go and it'll do its thing and it'll check a whole bunch of different stuff and they'll give you a report on screen. The tool that we're going to look at today is a little bit different for a couple of reasons. One is it's not a website and the second is that it's actually produced by a company you may have heard of called Google. So let's take a look at Google Lighthouse which is Google's own tool for conducting what they call an SEO audit on your website. So let's see how this works. Alright, so I've been using this particular website, Artisans of Colorado. It's sort of a demo site and I've been using it in some of my other SEO checker reviews. And we're going to run this website through Google Lighthouse and Google Lighthouse has been getting quite a bit of ink lately. Um, it's actually been around for a couple of years. It's a uh, basically a tool that Google makes available for free to webmasters to get a handle on all sorts of good stuff that has to do with your website. Most recently Google Lighthouse has been getting more publicity because the speed test results from Google Lighthouse are now being incorporated into Google's own page speed test tool which is, let's go here and just take a look just for chuckles here. I'm actually going to Google it. Google's page speed test, which is this one here, page speed insight. And you can see page speed insights and it will give you an overview of the speed of your website. And it's tied into now another tool that Google has made available called Google Lighthouse. There's a couple of different ways that you can run Google Lighthouse. One way is by going and getting it as a free extension for Chrome. Now I've done videos before about how you get extensions for Chrome. And the way you do that is uh, you click on the three dots up here at the top right of a Google Chrome browser and then you go to settings. Once you get to settings here you can go over and click on the hamburger menu at the top left and then go down and click on extensions. Now the extensions is going to show you the extensions that are currently installed on your browser. But if you click on the hamburger menu yet again and go all the way to the bottom you'll see that you can open the Chrome Web Store. Go to the Chrome Web Store and just go ahead and type in Google Lighthouse. And if you want to you can tick the little extensions filter here but typically it's going to come up at the top anyway. So here it is and it says rate it on mine because I've already installed it. Usually it'll have a little button that says add to Chrome and you click and then it asks you for permission to do it and you add that extension to Chrome and then it'll show up this tiny little icon up here at the top right. See how I have that installed and that means it's as an extension on my site. Now if I go back to the site I want to check, so all I have to do is click on that Lighthouse extension and then notice it's got a variety of options that we can set. So we'll click on that and you'll notice it's got a bunch of different categories. It says to include performance, it'll test um, the um, whether your, your site is built according to standards as a progressive web app, and this is nothing that I pay attention to right now, I probably should, but I don't. Accessibility, best practices, and then finally SEO. And this is, um, I don't know when they included the SEO audit, I think it's been within the last year. I'm doing this in the 
in January of 2019. I could be wrong on that, but in any case, now we've got this nice little tool here, SEO. What I'm going to do is I'm going to untick Progressive Web App, and I'm going to untick the Accessibility one just to keep the set manageable, and I'll go ahead and click on OK for Options. Now I'm going to click on Generate Report. Let's see what we get. Normally what um, Lighthouse will do is you'll see it going through its paces, it's checking various uh, configurations of the site, and then it's going to come up and open a new browser window, and it gives me a report. Now notice it's given me a 23 on performance. Now this is how fast the site loads. We're not really focused on load speed here, but we, are, we can use this in order to try to determine whether our site is below par or not. This is the same results or similar results that you would get if you go to Google's PageSpeed Insights. Then it has best practices. And then finally, notice my SEO audit. I'm getting 100% on my SEO audit. So that's, that seems pretty encouraging at face value. Let's scroll down here and see what various categories that we have. Now, there is, um, I was actually pleasantly, or I guess unpleasantly surprised to see that the best practices uh, show, pointed me in the direction of something I was not aware of, and that is that I have a security vulnerability on this website. You'll notice it here it says, one vulnerability detected. You can typically always drop down the little uh, drop down button if you've got a down uh, triangle, then you click on it and it'll show you more information. This is telling me that basically the version I have of jQuery has a vulnerability and so we would need to update jQuery to be able to patch that vulnerability. And, and I'll, I'll admit straight out, I did not realize we had this problem on this particular site. It's basically a demo site, so it's not a big deal, but I intend now to go and check my other sites as well. Now it says that I've passed a total of 13 audits. I can see where I'm doing well. And you can see uh, one of them is it uses HTTPS. In other words, our site is running securely. And you can see it's checked all sorts of different things, whether the page has doc type. Um, it will talk about avoiding deprecated API. Some of this is pretty technical stuff. Um, it displays images with correct aspect ratio. These are all useful tests. And really, although they are not under the SEO section of this audit, I would normally audit these things as part of an SEO audit. So you could say that it's sort of an extension of their SEO audit. Let's go down to the actual SEO section right here. Now, it'll tell me that there are two um, areas that I need to check manually. And notice it tells me that the page is mobile friendly and we do have some structured data going. And if you're not familiar with that, then this isn't the place to learn, but structured data is, is looked for by Google and, and those other search engines that are still trying to be competitive. Structured data is valid, but Google is going to tell me that I should still be checking these things manually as well. And in my experience, this is wise advice. Often automated tools will tell you that your website is mobile friendly and then you'll go and look at it on a phone and you'll see the automated tool didn't really show you that it's not mobile friendly at all. The one thing I don't like about this, if you drop it down, it basically will just give you an opportunity to learn more and then you'll have links to more learning resources at Google, some of which are useful and some of which are pretty general. It, points you in the direction of Google's mobile friendly test tool that you can use to explore your site a little bit more. Structured data, it'll tell you more about what structured data is, about the testing tool and so forth. So it does give you resources to be able to follow up. And these past audits in SEO, now we'll take a look and, and those are then further subdivided into other categories. So mobile friendly, Notice here that the mobile friendly check is very, very sparse in my opinion. Basically, it just checks this particular uh, tag, which is a viewport tag, and normally that's used if you have a responsive design website. So you can't be mobile friendly without having that tag. 
But on the other hand, there's a whole lot more to actually being mobile friendly than simply having that tag. And when it comes to explanations, Google's explanation is pretty lean as well. Same way with the legible font sizes. Tells you that the legible text, notice, is greater than 12 pixels. It still doesn't tell you a lot of things like whether the fonts are, are uh, too close together, whether uh, particular elements are overlaying your site. I guess what I'm trying to say is this is a real cursory check. And I would not consider this to be a full-blown SEO audit uh, or even close to one. A lot of the tools we've checked that are website-based are more complete than this. Let's go ahead and look at the other sections they have, content be best practices. And here's where I have more criticisms of this particular tool. For example, it says the document has a title element. Okay, fine. You know, most web pages have a title element, but SEO would involve making sure that that title element was the appropriate length, that it described the content on the page, that it was tied into keyword research that you've done, that it would appear correctly on a search engine results page. There's a lot that goes into SEO beyond simply having a title tag. And so this is almost useless. As a matter of fact, if you looked at this and said, oh, hey, my title is fine, then it's actually done you a disservice. And the same can be said for the meta description tag, is all it does is check to see if you have one. It doesn't tell you anything about how well it's been optimized. And the same criticism applies to links have descriptive text. Well, okay, descriptive, but descriptive of what? It says uh, href lang. This is uh, basically a tag that's used to make sure that you're compliant with best practices for multi-language, which is usually not an issue. Document has a valid rel canonical. That's good to know, but it's still pretty minimal. And then finally, the document avoids plugins. They have also crawling and indexing. Page has successful HTTP status code. Okay, that's extremely basic. Page isn't blocked from indexing. Also, basically what it means is it's like checking your front door to your store during business hours and making sure it's not locked. Robots.txt is valid. We've, we've gone through here a total of 11 checks that Google has done as part of their SEO audit. Now here is a comparison. The SEO audit that we normally do on a website is 91 different checks. So this is indeed a um, pretty basic tool. Before I conclude this review, and I'd, I'd give this tool a, a really low grade overall, and, and you know, no offense to Google, it's great that they're moving in the direction of giving us more information. I'll, but, but in terms of um, believing that you've done an SEO audit when you've run this, you haven't. I'm going to show you an alternate way to run Google Lighthouse. And it, like I said, it is useful, particularly when it comes to page speed, some of these other best practices, checking for security vulnerabilities. So here's the other way to do it. When you're looking at your page, you hit the F12 key on your keyboard. And what the F12 key will normally bring up is your developer tools. And these will show up as a panel. Most developers who do programming are very familiar with these. And usually it'll come up on this panel. Now you may have caught when I, I first brought it up, it showed Lighthouse because developer tools now includes a hook into Lighthouse through this, the, when you click on the double arrow, depending on how much screen real estate you have, you often will have a more little double arrow that indicates more choices. You click on that and you can go down to audits click on that and notice we can access uh, we can basically access the same Google Lighthouse tools here and we didn't have to get a plugin to do it so the plugin is a little bit redundant now in a, a certain respect I want to show the plugin availability because it, it does pull up the results in a separate browser window which makes it a little easier to use all right so there you go. That's uh, there you go. That's Google Lighthouse. And the bottom line, if I had to give this a grade, I'd give it a C or a D as an SEO audit tool. Good to see Google giving us some SEO information.
but we'd really like to see something that's much more in-depth than what we have here. And as far as other SEO checkers that are out there, most of the ones that we've tested are far more complete than this one that we just checked from Google. Now we'll be doing more SEO checkers as we go along and I hope this has proved useful to you. So I'm going to ask you now for a favor and that is if you've made it this far please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. When you subscribe to the channel it basically is showing Google that hey you were interested in the video and then Google will know to show the video to more people. So go ahead and subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you like the video and uh, please also when you do subscribe click on that little alarm button next to the subscribe button and that means you'll get a notification when we have new video content that will help you do the digital marketing that will help your website succeed on the internet. Thanks again for watching. My name is Ross Barefoot and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.